All right, I'm gonna do a quick update. Uh, had a tornado blow through my backyard. My house is okay, but you can see over there, that's uh, the remnants of my motorcycle shop, hobby shop, where all the magic used to happen. So now I have been relegated back to the garage, like the old days. No air conditioning. All right, so it's coming along. I got the forks installed. I got I have the brake installed. New brake spins nicely. Doesn't break things. Stops. Got the stock lever on there right now. I'm gonna put. Uh, I have a ASV F4 shorty lever. Lever lever. I'm gonna put on there. But this is it so far? It's pretty good. So all these scratches on the fender. That's from the uh, building collapsing on it, scratching it all up. So it's coming along. Just a few more things. I'm having trouble finding all of the bolts for the uh, for the fork shrouds and stuff like that because they went all over the place when the building collapsed. So I'm gonna go find those and do the next step. All right, quick update. So I got the brakes and the wheels mounted. You saw that. Got the four guards mounted now. Had the number plate mounted. Bolt in the top. I don't have any uh, zip ties on it yet. I got that. I like the way it covers everything up. And then the uh, I don't know where they are. Uh, don't find them soon. I've got the plastic, the hard plastic covers right here that are trimmable, and I'm uh, I've trimmed those down to where they fit perfectly from here to here cover that but right now uh, it's too pretty to look at so I'm not going to hit the trail or anything yet I'm gonna leave them like that so you can see the WP all right what else I got the brake line seems to be okay run through the number plate because I'm at full extension here and I still have just a little bit of slack so probably could use you know a little more I, I don't know do you need more I don't know I think it looks pretty good it's a still got just a hair more to go down if it needs to which if it does if it goes down anymore that means the forks fell out so I don't think I need that so I'm still need to put grips on and uh, I'm waiting on the screws from my uh, what we call the uh, molecule the molecule hand guards that I have uh, I lost all the hardware in the uh, tornado so I found the I found the guards, I found the clamps, but I lost all of the bolts. What's cool? So I, I uh, reached out to Molecule, and they are sending me a brand new hardware set right now. So as soon as that comes in, I'll get my hand guards on there. Probably gonna put my grips on here really soon, but I'm actually probably gonna go ride it in the yard just like it is <laughs> here in a minute and see how it feels. All right. All right, just went for my first test ride, and uh, feels good. It's awesome. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I need to tie these things down. The wires underneath. Uh, the only issue, uh, this turning radius is definitely a lot uh, less toolbox there. Even though I have I have my bump stop shaved down from before because I'd shaved them down with the regular forks, and they said it would be less, but it, I could immediately you know as soon as I. You know, we kind of do a little 180 and turn around. It's a significant uh, difference. So, hopefully, we can get some sort of solution figured out for the bump stops. You know, if they weren't there, I think it would be good. But you still need something to to bump up against. So, anyway, hopefully, I can get the grips and hand guards on there pretty soon. But regardless of the turning radius, I should have everything. I need and I have some other hand guards I can put on temporarily if I need to so that I can ride it this weekend really give it a go it was good so far though all right so I think I've found a solution for the uh, for the turning radius the bump stops it, it, it'll it's either brilliant or a terrible idea but I'm gonna try it because I think it's brilliant <laughs> so we'll find out the results later so basically what I bought is these uh, these are service fork guards they're velcro 
on the back and then there uh this thick rubber material right so it's a pretty thick rubber and what i was thinking of doing was pulling the bump stuffs off and somehow putting a thin piece of rubber on there and i remembered that i actually had these because i was going to try them i didn't know what not sure what i was going to do with this so i took this one and i cut i took the other one and i cut it directly in half i put a straight edge on there with a razor knife and cut it with this along this uh strap seam right here because you got four straps on there and then i took each of the pieces and i just wrapped it around the fork here so instead of bump stops there you have rubber on the fork itself good idea bad idea I don't know but the turning radius is much better and I gotta have it because I went to even just just turn in the yard it wasn't enough to to match what I'm used to and the way I need to turn in the woods so that's my solution for now I'll report back I guess how it does uh, does it bang up the forks at all if I notice any damage I'm sure I'll have to think of something else but I think that's gonna fly all right, I just did a quick quick run in the yard to test out the turning radius, and I say it's almost identical to um, what I had previously on the stock Suron suspension with the shaved shaved down guards. So by taking the guards off and putting these a service uh, rubber fork guards on, the turning radius is equal to stock with shaved bumpers. So it's, it's really good. It felt almost identical to what it was before. And it was really good before. So we're back, woods weapon in progress. All right, before I do this, I was showing you what I was doing. The only wires I really need going up to the front are these two coming out of the EBMX 9000, right? And they go up to the, guess, the throttle and the egg rider. Of course, the, the, thumb, the thumb throttle or regen, which I'm just going to keep there in case I ever need, because you can use it as a, a backup throttle. If I were to break this throttle, I could pull this out, stick it on the bar, and uh, go in my phone and change this thumb to throttle from regen. But I'm not using it at all, because it uh, just, for me, it runs down the battery and the little the riding I do, it doesn't help. So, but what I'll do is pull this whole big wiring harness that I don't need up here anymore back down. And I'm gonna try and put it in this empty space right up in here. And then put this, I had to pull this panel right here off. See that panel? It was right there. So I pulled that off. And I'm gonna try to pull this back through there. I think I'm about to pull it, take the controller out to get this wad through there. And then uh, I have this one wire that I need to take out a little bit more. I have it in the ignition right there, which I moved up to here. So I'm probably, I think I'm gonna pull this ignition off and just unplug those wires and then run them back through here. It'll be much easier. So anyway, that's what I'm doing right now. Clean things up real nicely. See how it looks. All right, so quick update here. So you have know, isolated just a couple of wires coming from the EBMX 9000 that I, that I need. And the system, of course, goes up just to the throttle, the regen brake or throttle. You can switch it between that's why i keep it and then the uh the egg rider all right and then all the other wires are back pulled this plate off put them back through here i did strip back the tape and pull off the uh the plastic housing that was around it i don't see what i did with it i thought i threw it over here but anyway i pulled off the plastic housing that it was around the wiring loom and then re-taped the whole thing really well so that I could easily cram it up into here. So it's all right up in here now. And then also, of course, I have the, uh, the key starter plug right here so that I can plug it back into the, the center top right here where I have it. Hopefully everything turns back on. There we go. All right, so one last update. Before we're gonna go ride tomorrow, um, the new hardware for my molecule hand guards didn't make it in you know, the, the people at molecule were kind enough to send me another 
As I said, I lost all my hardware in the tornado uh, for my shop, so I'm not sure. It's, I probably have it somewhere, but all the screws and everything I have is just mixed together. None of these are new. So it, it's new hardware, and I can't remember. I think it might have been black, too, so I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm going to put my old hand guards on just so I can ride tomorrow. I already cut the ends out of the new grips. Um, the new put the ASV lever on to the uh, 85 SX front brake. I got the 85 SX forks on. I got these plastic fork guards down here. Uh, the ECR kit. Uh, these rubber service pads that I talked about. Um, fork guards. It looks like this when it's new. It's got uh, Velcro and everything. I basically just use a straight ridge and cut it along right with that split in the Velcros all the way around. Made two of them so I, that was so I could remove my bump stops and get a good turning radius. Right. So I also uh, consolidated the only wires I need. I only needed a couple of the wires that were coming up through here and a whole bunch, a big lot of stuff. So I pulled everything back up inside here and I just have the two wires I need right from the EBMX and I put another piece of uh, plastic wire guard around it and it works much better much cleaner now I don't have to worry about rubbing the wires raw put everything back together I also have these Artec Artec I got uh, frame guards right here and swing arm guards they seem to be really high quality we'll see how they hold up and I drag them through the rocks over the next however well, as long as they last really <laughs> a lot of times they get broken off but I'm curious these look like they're really good oh I also uh, put on the titanium foot bags right there super light strong so some JJ XR I believe so that should be interesting and everything's back together so I'm going to go ride it tomorrow and give a final report. <laughs> Alright, so my first ride back since the tornado and had my front end part. So it's been a, it's actually been a while since I've ridden and <laughs> already kind of got arm bumped little bit the front end the new 85 forks so far it feels good the front brake is really good uh, it feels pretty solid pretty planted uh, definitely uh, down on my skill level but really uh Really smooth. I'm just gonna ram this log, see what it didn't feel it. Usually, the Ultra B, I think, would bang through my moose. You could almost hit the feel. I felt like it hit the rim when you hit that log right there on the trail. So, definitely just rolls right over stuff much better as far as that goes. Like a small log on the trail, rocks, things like that. That feels better. I don't have it dialed as far as suspension settings. I did. I just looked at the uh, 85 stock suspension settings and I did the middle standard setting which is basically 12 clicks out for compression and rebound. So, I'm trying to see what I'm feeling here but I, it's so different than what I had. It's really hard to say. What it's doing for sure. I'm thinking maybe, maybe it's still a little stiff, but also I'm not sure what the air level is in it too. So I, mean, I couldn't find my pump after the tornado. I have a higher pressure pump to check. I didn't want to check it without being able to add any in it. So I've got to get a higher pressure pump or find mine and all my stuff. So. Run and see what happens.